<laughs> Safe analysis. Cool. All right. So ball position, matching in with that, that that posture stuff we're working on, and also how the width of stance matches the ball position that works with the club. That also changes the. Oh, I'll grab the hula hoop. The angle of attack. Try not to get too complicated on it. Keep it simple. All right. So wedge, for example, this is a gappy, whether it be the sandy or the lobby, but in general, from that start position with your feet together, a good grip, face down the target line, all that basic stuff. Taking the stance there is going to just be that little step. So it's going to be inside that left heel comfortably, but it's not going to be a huge step with the right foot. It's just a little step. It's a short climb, so a short step. Body weight wise, you're still going to have that the sternum pointed, you know, towards the back of the golf ball and the weight a little bit forward. But because the narrow the stance is so narrow, it probably visually looks like I'm probably quite far ahead of the golf ball, maybe where my upper body's sitting. Which obviously because I want to make sure I hit it crisply. So I don't want to have be starting back here, I'm just going to hit it heavy. So with that, it allows me to have the bottom of the arc because my balance is here. It allows my bottom of the arc to be quite more of a descending blow so I can make sure I hit the ball first. And the more I hit, a little bit more hit down on it, the more spin I can get to with the wedges. So the wedge comes out on a low flight with a high spin. Then when we go to the, the mid iron, seven, six, any of those guys, same from the same start position. Similar left foot, not massively different. Similar left foot to the wedge, all right? But just a slightly wider right foot than the wedge is here. And even though my upper body stays in the same place, you can see that if I'm a wedge, as this goes, so does my head move back with it. So the head's a little further back than the wedge was as there. So that's kind of going to be your, your mid-iron setup. So my center of mass now, instead of like with a wedge being almost ahead of the golf ball, this is more at the golf ball. So and as I do that, it means it's more neutral down the bottom. I'm not coming down too steeply on my on my irons. But I certainly don't want to be hitting up on my irons. It's the last thing I want to be doing. So instead of so if that's the wedge, the seven line's gonna just be that little bit wider, the body's there. Then we get into the fairway woods and the driver. They're both a little different, but I'll go for that yellow ball. So the big difference here is obviously the, the width. Body, upper body is pretty similar. Hands pretty similar. Still inside that left heel, pretty similar. Just that little bit wider there. So this is what your forward or five wood. So it's going to be forward, five wood, three wood. It's going to all be pretty similar. A little wider, weight still forward. So now my head, my center of mass is pretty much behind the golf ball. So as I'm swinging, I can still get forward. So my center of mass is right on the golf ball, but I don't want to be ahead of the golf ball and hitting axe murdering my fairway woods. Certainly nowhere near as steep as a wedge. And then driver. Obviously here I want to make sure that my, I'm hitting up on it, right? So I have to make sure that swing center is going to be behind it. So I'm just going to use my mate right leg, same start sort of as a wedge, same grip, same everything. Same pretty much first move even as a wedge or a mid iron. But then this guy goes quite a bit more back. Same thing with my body. But because my stance is so much wider and my right foot is so much further back, even when if I press forward into my left, I'm still way back here. My center of mass is way behind the golf ball. And that allows me then with even the bigger club to have be a long way behind it. And then I can hit up on it a lot easier from back there without actually physically changing my golf swing. I'm just changing that. And as that changes, that also changes where my center of mass is at the same time. That kind of makes sense as far as ball position and setup goes. They don't, they both work in with each other very well. So you don't have to have three different, four different goal swings. You just have different width of stance to the club that matches where your upper body is working. Driver through to the wedge. That controls angle of attack with the same body position. Otherwise, you'd be doing all over the place. You don't want to be, that's too complicated. So it's pretty much the same ball position for everything, but that, that swing.